Daryl Zayer. Um, I am the Public Programs Manager at the West Coast Fossil Park and I'm an environmental educator and the Public Programs program has education and then also your tourism side and heritage part of the park. I was looking at the environmental sector and actually seeing it as a good sector to be in the future. So what we actually have here, our fossils are dated between 10 to 5 million years ago. Um, and with the, the, we look at the various animals that were around over here. What is significant about the site is that it's a clear indication about climate change and how it actually affected the animals around at this point um, over here. From here we are able to understand that climate change has major effects just in general, it leads to extinctions of animals, it also leads to different adaptations, different creatures that tend to adapt to the new circumstances around over here. And what is significant also about the site over here is because how well preserved our fossils are. Um, clear indication we found various, because this area was kind of um, estuary, it looked almost like a delta around this area over here, very unique biodiversity, high amount of species that were discovered around in this point over here. And the story is quite beautiful. And I think it's a lesson for us, because at the end of the day, we are just more animals, organisms on this planet over here. So the lessons from the past can be applied to the present. And like I said, solutions for the future. My name is Martina, my surname is Mabuza. So I am a tour guide environmental educator in the West Coast Fossil Park. I did my bachelor's degree for nature conservation. So I'm actually a conservationist in the fossil park. Okay, so I started working in the fossil park in October 2019. It's been a good journey. I mean, the people around here, they're very caring, they're very kind as well. We basically like a community, so it's, it's been good so far. With the outreach project that I am involved in is basically we started it. It was me as well as Daryl, one of the tour guides that's also here, as well as Ashley, which is one of the interns that's, that's working with us over here. So that involves students from um, Uriais Primary School. So Uriais is two kilometers away from the West Coast Fossil Park. Right, so basically what we want is for them to just get involved into the fossil park to basically become like more closer to the communities that is around us so that they can learn more about the environment that's around them and nature basically as well as the fossils as well because they've never actually been here. So it's a great opportunity for them to just get to know and see how it looks like over here and for them also to learn more about the environment basically. So that's what we do with them. <laughs> With us having the education department over here, we are adding to the curriculum because we give a lot of times education doesn't always happen in the classroom. It needs to be out there and children get to see what is in the practical world. They get to actually link it to something that is more logical when it comes to them, um, their understanding when it comes to their education. And we believe that quality education has to be for everyone. So we get a lot of more advantaged schools, but you also get the disadvantaged schools, or I'd like to say more under-resourced schools. And we provide that gap, we fill that gap of when the under-resourced schools um, are able to actually get that quality education. If we have a program specifically, we would have like a environmental um, education lecture, and then we'd also bring the students down to the museum so that they can see what happens around here as well and then also take them to the dig site. So it just depends on whether we have like um, educational programs planned out for them or not. But basically that's my normal day-to-day -day basis, yeah. And there is quite a few universities like um, Stellenbosch as well as um, UCT. They do come down to the site to come and do um, research. So let's talk about the big animals. So we found that we had a short lived giraffe that used to be here once upon a time. It's one of the most abundant of the fossils that we have found. We found about 500 individuals, so we have quite a lot of fossils within our fossil collection of them. 
Um, so that is one of our major animals, but everybody, they like to always know when it comes to the predators, that is the major thing. So even our logo is the African bee, although we've only found 15 individuals of it, <laughs> of the African bee, but that is the most exciting one. Everybody wants to know about the big predator that we see exist. We found whale fossils containing teeth marks of them. So those are the big creatures. But when we look at the other smaller creatures, the majority of our fossils are from bird fossils, and then also reptile fossils. They are just as exciting because it makes you understand, like I said, the biodiversity within this area of here, how the whole ecology used to be over at this point. So we are in a beautiful facility. Um, we got about 67 million rand from the Lotto Fund to build this wonderful building that we're actually sitting in this very moment. And that has allowed us to actually get more tourists into this area, but also kind of given us more of a nice footing, um, or at least a, a, a jump start to and for the public to see just how significant the site is. And we talk about this new thing now called science communication, and that is what we're actually doing at this point. We are allowing science, um, the data that has been collected, which is normally known by researchers and scientists out there, to actually now be open to the public. Now the public goes, they see the tour, and they are amazed by the amount of fossils that we actually have over here. So they come down to our new building, they are able to then take a tour, which is a tour guide, a very knowledgeable tour guide, and then we explain about the history of how we managed to find fossils, and it started with this being a phosphate mine. And with the phosphate being around this area, they didn't discover these unusual rocks around in this area over here, which turned out to be fossils. And with that turned out to be fossils, they tried to save as much of the fossils as they can during the mining operations. But eventually the mine had to close down. Mines are all about money. <laughs> and when it became financially um, unviable to keep this mine open, there was the thought of what do we do now with this land over here. And with there being this precious resource known as fossils, they decided that preserving the fossils would be the best way to go forward, and that is how the West Coast Fossil Park started. When you come through to our reception area, please say hello to our beautiful receptionists um, out in the front, and you will get to experience that first of all, we have a beautiful curio shop um, where you can find some beautiful things, some books, some clothing over there, a little bit of ornaments um, at this point that is relevant to the fossil park. Then you walk, you turn, take a nice little left, and you'll find that you find an amazing um, restaurant around in this area of here. And that is done by the West Coast Chef School. So we've got some good professionals in around of here. And but also with having the West Coast Chef School over here, it's just not a restaurant, it's also students that are actually learning the trade around at this point of here. And it falls within our ethos of research, education, tourism going forward. They come into our beautiful museum. Our museum is got three floors, a very contemporary styled museum. At this point, we'll be sitting around over here. Um, you see the beautiful artistic work that is actually happening over here. The tour takes you down towards the dig site. We then go into the 14 hectares, which is the National Heritage Site, which is kind of the quarry, which is actually C E quarry around at this point um, over there, and that is where the fossils is in situ. I'm Pippa Harup and I'm the executive manager of the Fossil Park. I've been involved at the, uh, with the Fossil Park since inception, which goes back to September 1998, going back to 1993, when the mine had made a decision to close. I was uh, with Ezeco Museums at that time, working on the fossils from, these fossils from the Cenozoic Department, um, Paleontology Department. So we, could, we um, um, managed to motivate and, and implement that um, part of the quarry was protected, which is this area here, um, where the prime fossil, remaining fossil sites were. And then together with uh, Sara, we managed to get eventually the entire site uh, protected with national heritage status. 
and so we're talking about a 700 hectare plus um, property which has been donated to the West Coast Fossil Park Trust. The, what makes sort of sets it apart is that it's open to the public. It's, it's a, a site museum, if you like, um, where the public can come and see the bones in the ground, exactly as they were buried five million years ago, exactly as we've uncovered them. The significance of the site itself, it's one of the richest fossil sites in the world with well, uh, uh, close to 300 different species of fossil animals. And the preservation is extremely good, from the tiniest, tiniest, tiniest little bones to the biggest elephants and sea bears and so on. And it's marine, terrestrial and freshwater. That also um, helps explain why it's so diverse, because you don't often get that mixture preserved in the same area. So we've set our, ourselves up to primarily to communicate science to the public. Um, we, we get educational groups and then of course tourism which is also educational so it's edutourism if you like. That is our primary mission is to communicate science to the public and it's based on earth history. Please do come and visit the fossil park because you would get to see things of the past. We rather speak of things that is from five million years ago, which is something that we don't really look at or see or we don't know of. Everyone is welcome, all ages as well, to come and see what happens at the fossil park. Internationally, we are very well known by various scientists out there because of how we're one of the richest fossil parks in the world. But it's not just about the fossils. We have about 750 hectares of land. It's one of the most well rehabilitated areas in the Saldana Bay region. So come and experience the nature, the fossils, and this beautiful tourism center that we actually have over here. We won't be disappointed.